We all know if you want to make it in the entertainment industry, most of the time you have to be attractive. But what happens when a script calls for an unattractive character? Instead of casting someone more fitting for the role, Hollywood execs choose to make under beautiful stars. And the results are shocking. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Yes, 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 yes. Today, we are revealing 10 characters who are so hot in real life. You won't believe your eyes when you see the real life transformation of a particular American Horror Story character. Stay tuned to see who. Raj Kuthrapali. If you are a fan of the show The Big Bang Theory, then you already know it's based on some pretty nerdy characters. To get these actors into real dork mode, the show's producers made sure to dress a few of them down. One of the show's most iconic characters is Raj Kuthrapali, and there might be more than meets the eye with the actor who brings him to life. This is Kanal Kapoor as Raj, and this is him in real life. Though there isn't a huge difference, we definitely see him as a cooler version of the TV nerd. What may be even more surprising, consider Considering how Raj seems to always strike out with the ladies is the fact that in real life, Kunal married an ex-beauty pageant queen. That's right, take a look at his gorgeous wife, Neha Kapoor. Neha competed in the Miss Universe pageant when she represented India in 2006. The couple met in their home country and it didn't take long for them to figure out they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together. Their wedding day was one for the record books. It lasted six days and they invited 1,000 of their closest friends and family. Not bad for a guy who plays a TV dork if you ask us. Betty Suarez you would think that casting someone to play a role in a show that starts with the word ugly would require someone to fill that description. But that just isn't the case for actress America Ferreira, who played the starring role in the TV show Ugly Betty. Of course, the producers did their best to give America a make under, but there are still signs of a total bombshell under those braces and large glasses. So what does Betty Suarez look like in real life? Take a look for yourself. She's pretty stunning, don't you think? When she drops the fake mouth gear, her perfect pearly whites are able to shine through. Plus, who knew that she had such an amazing figure? It's like they tried to make her really frumpy in the show. Considering how beautiful she is, we are pretty sure the show's wardrobe department had a tough time trying to hide her natural beauty. Sadly, people haven't always been kind to the actress about her weight, but now that she is in her 30s, she totally owns herself and her body image. We applaud anyone who stands up to body shamers and we aren't even sure what they had to shame her about. The woman looks great. We love that she is all about body acceptance and we can't wait to see what's next for this stunning young actress. Tasha, Tasty Jefferson. One of the standout characters from Orange is the New Black has to be Tasha, Tasty Jefferson. While all the actresses in the show are dressed down, Danielle Brooks may have the most impressive transformation to her real life self. We are used to seeing Tasty as a tough as nails chick with a soft spot for her friends. But when Danielle is back to her normal self, it's completely shocking. Here she is posing for a photo shoot for People Magazine, and we can't believe this is the same person. This was part of People Magazine's 2017 Most Beautiful Woman issue, which features the actress with no makeup and minimal Photoshop. We love that they included her on this list because she is totally deserving. And the way she unapologetically owns her dazzling curves and stretch marks is awe-inspiring. But don't let these pictures fool you. The actress likes to get dolled up as well, and the results are equally as stunning. Just take a peek at some of her more glamorous pictures. Can you believe she almost didn't even take the role of Tasty? We couldn't imagine in the show without Danielle in it. She is not only beautiful, but also uber talented. Considering she is already finding success outside of the popular Netflix show, we are pretty sure Danielle Brooks is here to stay. Gilfoyle. For some reason, nerds are all the rage in the TV world right now. And one TV show that has a cast full of them is Silicon Valley. If you are a fan of the show, you probably have a love-hate relationship with Gilfoyle. With his arrogant one-liners and judgy demeanor, it's only natural for him to bug you a bit. But for some reason, you just can't hate him. That may have to do with the fact that the actor who brings Gilfoyle to life is totally lovable. This is what Gilfoyle actor Martin Starr looks like in real 
real life. He's pretty hard to believe, but this guy has made a career of playing the dorky dude in TV shows. Take a look at him in his younger years. If he looks familiar, that's because this is him dressed up as Bill Haverchuk from the cult classic TV show Freaks and Geeks. The transformation is pretty hilarious, but even more impressive considering what he looks like in his daily life. While we can still see a bit of nerd in there, we are pretty sure it's not as hardcore as the characters that he plays. All in all, we are digging the nerdy hot guy next door vibe Martin is giving us. What about you? Do you think he's cute? Let us know in the comments section below. Barb Holland One of the biggest shows to come out of 2016 was Netflix's instant classic Stranger Things. People seriously couldn't get enough of this 1980s theme thrilling TV show. And one unexpected character to steal the show was Barb Holland. After her passing, Barb became an internet sensation, mostly because of her seemingly innocent personality and the fact that she was one of the first victims of the demo gorgon that was haunting Hawkins, Indiana. Fans loved the mom jeans wearing goody two shoes, and it was sad to see her go. But just wait until you see what the actress who plays Barb looks like in real life. This is Shane. Shannon Purser. And you might be surprised to learn that this was Shannon's first acting role ever. The actress did so well that she was even nominated for an Emmy. Not bad for a show business newbie. Plus, who knew that there was such a babe under those big glasses, freckles, and questionable 80s fashions? We have to admit, this is a pretty remarkable transformation. What is even better is that though we may not see her on the next season of Stranger Things, she has been racking up other acting credits. You can catch this gorgeous actress on season 2 of Riverdale. But but until then, we can't help but bask in Shannon Purser's beauty. Alex Dumphy ABC's Modern Family is arguably one of the most successful series from the past decade. With four SAG Awards for Best Ensemble in a Comedy Series under its belt, it's clear to see why. Everyone loves the cast of this show, and a fan favorite happens to be Alex Dumphy, a know-it-all teenager that brings the voice of reason to her crazy family. While she started the show as an adorable tween, we have seen Alex develop into a beautiful young woman in the process. Which really means we have watched Ariel Winter, the actress who plays Dumpy's middle child, grow up right before our eyes. And the difference between the actress and her character couldn't be any more apparent until you see what Ariel looks like in real life. Take off her glasses and give her a glam makeover, and you have yourself a real Hollywood goddess. The star is known for her beautiful selfies and sometimes even her belfies. If you don't know what a belfie is, it's a rear end selfie, and Ariel Winter is the queen of them. Though she may not not even be in her 20s yet, the actress has already stirred up some controversy. Between disowning her own mother and getting a chest reduction, Ariel can't seem to stop making headlines. Of course, we love this body shamer slamming actress, so we won't hold any of these headlines against her. Alana Wexler There is something about the ladies who bring Broad City to life, most notably Alana Wexler, that we can't get enough of. Though she isn't necessarily unattractive, some of her antics take away from her beauty on the show. Mostly it's the fact that she stole office supplies from her old job just to get Lil Wayne tickets that really makes us question her sanity. That sort of behavior would make even the most gorgeous girl look not so hot. Thankfully, the real-life Alana Wexler, Ilana Glazer, is nowhere near as kooky as her character on the show. Considering she is a writer and producer of the hit Comedy Central series, she has to be a little more disciplined than the character she portrays. That means Ilana is a real-life boss lady. And what is more attractive than that? Oh, we know. This picture of her looking amazing with her dolled-up crimson lips. These pictures make her seem light years more grown up than the Alana we are used to. Which is a great thing, because if she acted like that in real life, we are pretty sure the show wouldn't be in its third season. We'd say this gorgeous gal cleans up well. How about you? Do you think Alana is better in real life or on the show? React in the comments section below. Andy Dwyer Before he was steaming up our big screens in the mega action blockbusters, Chris Pratt was Andy Dwyer from Parks and Recreation. If you don't know who Andy Dwyer is, just take a look at Chris as the character. It's hard to imagine this hunk was ever considered unattractive. All it took was a beer belly, an underwhelming wardrobe, and some unkempt facial hair. But while he wasn't the most beautiful character on the show, Andy was pretty lovable. Though that may have been the case, everything changed when Chris Pratt transformed into Hollywood's favorite action star. Seriously, isn't he so dreamy? The actor is a far cry from his Andy Dwyer days, but what we like most about Chris Pratt is how approachable he seems. Yes, he's completely good looking, but he also knows how to French braid your hair. Um, does it get any dreamier than that? Now that he has officially 
Hollywood back on the market, it's only a matter of time until another Hollywood A-lister takes him back off again. Until then, we can only dream about running into his dream boat on the streets of LA, where it'll be love at first sight. Obviously, we aren't the only ones with this dream, but hey, what can we say? The actor is a total package these days. Brienne of Tarth if you are a fan of Game of Thrones, chances are you are a fan of Brienne of Tarth. What's not to love about this character? She's an amazing warrior and an even better friend. We also admire that when she makes a promise, she keeps it, even when it means risking her own life. One of the most noticeable features of this character is the fact that she doesn't look like the other ladies on the show. While many of the women have long, flowing locks and intricate dresses, Brienne rocks a pixie cut and metal armor. Many times in the series, she is called out for not being attractive or for looking too masculine. Though we think she is beautiful on screen, she is even more stunning off. Actress Gwendolyn Christie brings Brienne to life, and she is one gorgeous gal. Seriously, just look at her and admire all the glory. She is just as tall as she looks in the show, standing a remarkable six foot three inches tall, which means she commands a room's attention simply for walking in, but she keeps it for being remarkably beautiful. You won't believe your eyes when you see this picture of the statuesque actress in a leg-bearing hood and cape. Can you even believe it's the same woman as Brianna Tarr? We sure can't. Pepper. Back in 2013, American Horror Story was making some serious headlines, mostly because of the show's outrageous looking characters. If you look at the cast of the show in full makeup, it's easy to see why. The theme of that season was Freak Show, and the costume and makeup department did a fine job living up to that theme. One of the freakiest of the bunch was the character Pepper. With her pinhead ponytail, two-toned eyes, and a mouth full of crooked teeth, the character was anything but a looker. But which actress was brave enough to a character this unattractive to life. That would be none other than Naomi Grossman. And this is what she looks like when she isn't in full-blown pepper gear. Isn't she really pretty? Seriously, we have no idea how she did it. Most actresses never want to appear hideous on screen, but Naomi totally went for it. We love that she took a big risk, and we love how adorable she is off the screen. The actress even shaved her head for the role, which is a huge deal in Hollywood. But somehow, she was even able to pull that off when she wasn't filming for the show. Here she is rocking her shaved head on the red carpet. Seriously, we are still in shock over how great she looks. Who are some more TV characters who are hot in real life? React in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.